with the team doing well, I suppose we look to the attendances and seeing what we can do to, to increase those. Yeah, it's been great to see um, the team doing so well on Tuesday night. Anybody who missed that was a fantastic first half from the team. Um, I kind of likened it to Wimbledon away, AFC Wimbledon away in the first half where we didn't get the goals but we played so well in the mm. first half. Um, but it was great to see and obviously that we, I was quite pleased with the crowd on Tuesday night, I've got to be honest. We had over 5,000 of our own supporters here. Um, I know we can get more obviously, um, but hopefully people are still coming out in better numbers than they were this time last year, that's for sure. Um, but obviously we're trying to still encourage more people to come and the more we need our supporters to which I'm sure they are, is speaking to LAP supporters and mm. trying to encourage them back down to Montgomery Waters Meadow and, and see the brand of football that we're playing. And obviously Tuesday night was a good example of uh, how things have turned around for us. One of the criticisms last year was the, the queues at the ticket office and with the West Stand or the County Group Stand uh, ticket office open, it's sort of taken a big pressure off that. Yeah, it's been massively uh, helped, to be honest with you. I think it's obviously helped people coming to the game. If we went to go to the West Stand, uh, they actually ran out of tickets on Tuesday night, which is positive. So obviously we need to make sure we've got enough to, to cope with demand uh, for the West Stand. But, you know, if, if there are 150 or 200 people buying tickets or even more for, for the West Stand, it's 200 less people queuing also at the main ticket office for for their tickets and having to go around so it actually makes things a lot easier it's been a, a welcome addition hopefully the supporters feel that as well you know initially we started cash only we've started that with card as well so again we're trying to make things easier and i guess with the fan card too and the other ways we're trying to change things it's hopefully making it easier and takes away the excuses for some people saying i'm not going to watch shrewsbury town because you have to queue for a ticket or whatever the pleasing thing is the season tickets are still being bought I mean, the, the, the price is still a, yeah. a good price and it changes per game. Yeah, we've been looking at that because we've had demand from people actually asking about a season ticket, probably people who um, didn't buy one at the start of the season or the end of last season or whatever, and have thought, well, do you know what, I do want to come every week and it makes sense. So we have looked at the prices and, and taken as a proportion of the games left um, to offer a season ticket. And we've sold, I think, maybe 50 or 60 in the last six weeks, which has been fantastic. Um, we're still offering them for sale this week before the Fleetwood game if anybody decides they want to do that. Um, obviously we'll have the half season ticket coming out um, before not too long as well I would think because with December not that far away. Fan card as well launched, uh, nearly 700 have taken it up. Yeah it's been fantastic to be honest with you. I think um, I'm really pleased with how that's gone and it's obviously been a welcome addition. There have been teething problems with a few at the beginning which we understand which we almost half expected. But we've worked hard between the ticket office, ourselves and, and, and Ticketmaster to make sure that we've we've ironed out the problems. You know, one of the things was a simple one, quite straightforward at the beginning was to make sure supporters ticked the box when they were buying the ticket to add to fan card mm. so that it was which was causing some issues at the beginning. But I think everybody's getting the hang of it now and you know, for us to sell that number, yeah, nearly seven hundred fan cards, it's been great to show that there's a there's there's been a group of seven hundred supporters out there who probably can't justify coming to every single game, but you know if the fan card makes it easier for them to get a ticket because they can just load it on online to their fan card, they don't have to queue, which makes it easier for everybody else too, but it's saving them money at the same time. The other thing as well, the flexi ticket from last season continues, buy games of six at a bunch and still save. Yeah, we've, we've kept that on. Some people were talking, do we, do we actually take that away? Uh, because we've introduced the fan card, but I think it's, it gives another option. If somebody wants to buy six games, then why shouldn't they be able to do that? And I think you know, rather than take away options, I think what we're doing now is we've actually added options to the ticket, the ticketing. You know, season ticket, obviously you've got your season ticket holders, but still offering season tickets to people who want to come. You've got the fan card, uh, we've got the West End ticket office, and hopefully, although despite the bigger numbers coming to the games, we're still um, hopefully dealing with the queues better than we had before. Things with flexi tickets and the fan cards, with Christmas coming up, it's one of those little things that could be given as a gift. Yeah, definitely. You know, the fan card, or you know, is a simple stocking filler protection for somebody, uh, five pound for an adult, and um, even the, the hope for the half season ticket. You know, can be used by will be a popular one, but even a season ticket now. You know, we're still offering as I say just now, but you know, hopefully that these thing kind of things can be used as a gift or the flexi ticket, as you say. It's it's an it's another stocking filler for somebody. Hopefully that um, maybe get use of now that the team are actually playing so well and uh, people can get enjoyment and, and good value for money. The other thing you've been trying to do as well is get the young fans in. I mean, get the next generation through. And again, with the football being played, it's no better time in an under-8s 
every game in the mm-hmm. Sky Bet League are free. Yeah, I think we, 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 we're we trying to push that more and make people aware of that. So obviously I would encourage our own supporters to get that message out too. Um, the under eights go free here, um, which has been good. We've also got the youth group offer as well, which is open to any youth group, whether it's a, a boys club, a girls club, a grassroots team, a, a scouts, you know, cubs, a, any youth group at all. A school, for example, and where we offer t- up to 20 children's tickets and five adults' tickets free um, if they come as a group and we give them uh, the tickets, which has been really, really successful. I think you said to me yesterday about the numbers that have taken that up. Um, again, it's trying to push that again and make people aware of um, what that, that's on offer because at the end of the day, what we're trying to do from that is we give tickets away free to get groups, young groups in to try and encourage, if I can get two or three of those 20 children to come back you know, with their parents or whatever to the future games, then it's, it's a win-win for everybody and hopefully they enjoy it. And as you say, the brand of football and the way we're playing just now, there's no better time for us to try and be pushing tickets and try and encourage people to come along here and, and watch the, the current team. And Charlton game next year um, month is the Armed Forces game, where there'll be a, a lot of uh, um, press about the what we do with the Armed Forces. But any game again, there are free tickets for the, the Armed Forces personnel. Yeah, again, I don't think we shout enough about that either. Um, we we do give Armed Forces any Armed Forces free tickets, um, which I think is a really good positive one for the football club. It's one we w- we want to be associated with. We've got a very good link. We've got very good links, as you know, with RAF Shawbury especially and um, and the people there. So which obviously are not just uh, RAF; they're all Army and uh, Navy as well. So you know it's important to us to to forge these links and work together. And you know we I think we all appreciate what the Armed Forces do for our country. Um, and hopefully this is something that we can give back. Um, obviously we've got the uh, you know, Poppy Weekend Remembrance Sunday coming up as well, so th- there's a lot of activity going on, that the pre-planning which you know, Jamie and his team and you know, yourself and the media as well are trying to, media department, to try and publicise what we're trying to do here and, and make sure it's, it's done properly and in the right manner. I know before we've been asked by Armed Forces personnel if they can get season tickets and again we said they can get them concession rates. Yeah, no, I think we we trying to be flexible about all this and just use common sense. You know, if there are armed forces out there rather than coming every single week, then if they want to buy a season ticket and have a game, then we do do it at the concession rate just to be to be flexible about it. And do you know, it's just a bit of common sense. I'd rather have a season ticket sold for some money than uh, somebody getting a free ticket every single game. <laughs> The other big thing about match day as well is trying to get people here early in the fan zone has been sort of a, a good hit and yeah. we're c- continuing that now. Yeah, we've, we've obviously we've been speaking to supporters parliament about this as well and, and how we how the feed, we've been getting feedback from that. Um, by all accounts it's been it's gone down very well we've had good numbers most of the games the weather's been on our side I've got to be honest mm. but now we've introduced the marquee the last couple of games we've extended the marquee to have a, have this facility in place from now until uh, 1st of January to the Oldham game and um, again we'll review it over the next 7 or 8 games so every Saturday game uh, plus the New Year game we will have a, a marquee in place uh, weather permitting um, that we can use and, and actually have the fan zone because I think it's really important we continue what we've, mm. what we've built up. We've built up a, a lot of people coming regularly who have probably changed their routine to come to the stadium here to go have a few drinks and go and use the fan zone and if there's ways that we can try and improve that um, I know Jamie's trying to get a group together for a, like a small subcommittee um, so if anybody's interested in that um, please contact us because you know, people who are using the fan zone on a regular basis who are keen to help and, and try and um, improve things going forward so I mean Jamie's trying to get that together just now so if we can get a, another couple of people involved in that you know four meetings a year it gives us feedback that hopefully we can make the fan zone bigger and better going forward